And we're back. Diana, the surgery day has arrived. How did you feel when you arrived at BGH? I'm sure you're bright and early that morning. Oh, it was, it was far too, well, it wasn't far too early because I don't think I slept that well the night before. And a very kind friend of my sister's because my sister can't drive and I stayed with her and she brought me in. She's very close to BGH. And she, I let, went out and came into BGH and I thought, oh <laughs> this is it yeah I, you know so you yeah. get checked in take us through kind of the next steps and then yes i get you know you get into your hospital gown yeah. and then you're laying on the bed and they're, they're doing all the final more blood i think i gave more blood for this thing than <laughs> i had blood in me i yeah. took six, 16 vials of blood at some point right um, and you're fasting at this point too oh, right but at this point i'm fasting yeah yes, but, <laughs> Yes, they weren't the time they took 16 vials, but still. Um, anyway, I, I was there on the bed and that's when I could have done, because I didn't have anybody with me and I hadn't really asked anybody. So I thought, oh, you know, what's the point? But it would have been nice because the nurse, I mean, they were all very professional and the two surgeons came and talked to me, of course, and the anesthesiologist yeah. came and talked to me. but. They were busy, they had other things on their minds. And um, so I was, that was the time I closest I came to running. Oh, I thought, okay, fair. Well, I, thought, I don't think I had my clothes at that point, so I'd have to have run out in the hospital gown with all this stuff attached to me. And I thought, Sounds no. like a scene from a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I can do this. So I took a deep breath and I, I thought, yep, yeah, I can do it. And then eventually I went through and you know, then they put the mask on your face and then the rest is the history. Yes. Right? Yes. So that you do the countdown, right? They usually start and say, start from 10 and go down. I try to remember what number I got to. I maybe I, got to seven and then I don't remember the rest. Do you remember? I don't remember much about no. it at all. No. Yeah, I, no. So on the other end, you know, you go through this wonderful process and you are in recovery. What was the first thing that you remember when you woke up from surgery? I really, that part I'm a bit foggy on. Fair? Yes. Yeah. Um, they were very, I have to say, I had wonderful care in the recovery. Yeah. Uh, they gave me a room on my own and there was no rush to move me out. I, I could stay as long as, until I felt comfortable about going. Right. I think I stayed an extra day. Um, but it's the same when you come out of surgery. I mean, I've had quite a few surgeries okay. and you always feel a little, unsettled and but I don't thank goodness with surgery I'm not I don't have any allergies to the anesthetic oh yeah so I was fine and I got up and started moving around as quickly as possible and, that's amazing yeah wow so, so you were in the hospital good. how long were you in the um, hospital for it probably yeah. three days I think yeah I should have maybe they could have released me on the Saturday I think whatever day it was but I asked if I could stay an extra day because I needed to try stairs and I hadn't they haven't been able to get that done with me. So we did stairs and I went home the next day. Well, I didn't go home. I went to my sister's friend, yes. Right. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yes. And so you were there. What ended up being your first meal? I know it's a bit of a progression, oh. right? But I, there's always got to be a good food story food at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, in the hospital, I don't remember anything about the food except no? that it wasn't that bad. No. I mean, everybody complains, but goodness. I'm just grateful to have a meal I haven't had to prepare. Yeah. I haven't had a shop for and you don't have to do dishes. That is a good point. I never, you know, that is a fair point. So, so <laughs> I was very grateful for that. But when I went back with Kathy, my sister's friend, to her place, yes. um, it must have been in the afternoon at some point. Yeah. And she had her family come over on Sundays for supper. So we had a very nice roast beef dinner and I know I ate it quite happily and it was I can very, very pleasant. It's definitely an appreciation mm. when after all that you've gone through, so you get through the surgery, you do your initial recovery down here, but then you head home. What was it like to finally get back into your own space and again, be gone through this process? It was, it was lovely. I mean, it's always nice to go home and sleep in your own bed and, yeah. and um, and a very kind friend drove me to Kamloops because I didn't really want to fly. Yeah, and then a friend from Kamloops picked me up and drove me home, so it was very nice. And as I say, the friends all came over with casseroles and, and baking and 
what have you, and yeah. stuff to put in the freezer. So I was, it was wonderful. And, and then it was, I mean, I was lovely to get back to see my dog, because oh. I'm very attached to her, or I was. But of course, she wasn't doing very well. So that was a little bit of a downer. We had to go through that process. But anyway, we, it, it's all good. But it was good, yes, to be home, and then to reflect that, yes, it was, I, I'd done it, and I it hoped, made an impact on someone. Yes, and I hoped that everything had gone well for the recipient, because you don't know that. Right. And that's a really, I found that a really hard part. Fair, yeah. Um, I just, you know, you just hope that that person was able to take my kidney and it has made a big difference to them. Absolutely. And I, you know, I, I can't speak to the person, you know, no, I'm not the no. person that received, but um, from yourself, but, you know, as a recipient, you know, it's such a grateful gift. And, but I could understand how challenged that would have, because you didn't see the immediate possible changes within that recipient. But there's the hope that, of course, that yes. they have gone on to, you know, even though it's not that long ago, hopefully they're feeling better. They're hopefully maybe off of dialysis, which yes. would be life changing yes. for yes. a patient and being able to move on with living their life with maybe not feeling as sick and uh, what a beautiful feeling that must be. So, you know, you're only a handful of months post-surgery. Did you have any um, any issues or complications that came out of the surgery at all? No, I think, but, well, well, I've put it this way, I've had back surgeries and I've had a knee replacement right. and this was far less painful and far less intrusive wow. because I was up walking that day Right. And I mean, I was out walking as soon as I got back to my to stay with his friend. Right. So that was something, you know, after knee surgery, it was quite a struggle. So right. I would say it was a very relatively simple recovery for me anyway. You know, at what point did you um, have a moment of reflection of what you had just gone through? Was it when you were in hospital? Was it when you were staying with your sister's friend or has it been since then? I think when I was in hospital, uh, you, it, it was a, a sort of re relief that I'd done it, the relief that I woke up and I was fine, or felt fine. Yeah. Yes. And so it was, was very, and of course, um, I don't know again if I can mention Renee, she came to see me on the day after my surgery and brought me my blanket, which of course you have, and I haven't brought one down with me. I could have put it in the car, I never That's thought. Okay. Yes, my gratitude blanket, which is lovely. It has yes. thank you in multiple languages. Yes. I, we proudly have one in our home as yes. well, actually. Yes.